Hello and welcome to another video. In this short video, I will show you how you can move the black boxes around. The default shortcut will be Alt and K. When you press those two together, you will see everything light up. Mind you, I have something enabled in the INI file that will show you the voice chat, the, the flags and stuff like that. You won't normally see those, but I'll show you in a while, a uh, short while, how you can change that. So you can always get that enabled while you have it. So right now you can see it's highlighted and you can move it around wherever you want it. And when you're done, placing it where you want to, you can hit Alt and K again. And when you come back in the car next time, it will be in the exact places you left them. Stay tuned to see how you can change so you can get everything on screen at the same time and get, even get it off your main screen if you use trebles. So what you need to do when you get out of the car and want to go into the INI file for iRacing, you need to go to your desktop and you need to go to File Explorer. You need to find Documents. In here you need to find iRacing. And here you need to find the app. This will be located with all the other files of iRacing. Double tap it to open it. And then we'll, it will bring this up. If you screw something up while in here just and can't get the thing to work afterwards, just delete the INI file. And next time you load into iRacing, it will generate a new one. But you need to set up the, your settings again. When you're in here, go down and find graphics. Down here, we need to find force visible when move. I have this set to one. You need you probably have it as a zero. You need to change this one to a one. And then you will be able to see all the flags, voice comes and everything when you hit Alt K. If you're on triples, I would recommend going for the drive UI full screen as well. Again, this will be a zero for you. And if you put it to a one, you will be able to put the black boxes, voice comes and everything off the center screen onto either your left or your right monitor. This is very helpful. When you're done with that, you need to go up and hit files and say save or save as. If you press save as, you need to put app.ini in and hit enter. When you've done that, everything should work and you can load back into the sim. So if this did help you out, please leave a like down below. Consider subscribing as well and stay tuned for more and see you in the next one, guys. Bye.